Morning folks, uh, day number 23. Um, woke up a bit confused this morning, a bit confused. Stepped on the scale, was 195. So started the week at 191 and I've jumped up to 195 kind of gradually. It's down 0.4 from yesterday. Didn't do anything different, didn't do anything new. I ate a ton of food yesterday as well. Um, all within calories, every day I've been within my calories. I haven't been jumping up and down. Um, They've all been in, within my calorie restriction. My body just seems to be holding, dropping, holding, dropping, holding, dropping. And my moving average um, today has stopped for the first time um, in the descent. It's still saying that this week alone I dropped sort of a two pound average, which is way more aggressive than I would normally go. I just can't quite work out why my body seems to be holding on to, to certain things. Um, and then and then dropping it rapidly and, and sort of bringing it back up. I know I fluctuate, like I know I fluctuate and I know I feel leaner. So I don't care that it's doing it. I just would like to be able to rationalize it. And I think a lot of people struggle, especially out there in the early stages, especially if this isn't something you've done before, struggle with that. Well, I can't understand it. I can't understand why I haven't lost weight or I have lost weight and then I've, all of a sudden I put it back on. Um, my big, my big piece of advice to that is if you know you're doing the right thing, which is dieting, which is you know um, calorie deficit, which is going to get your knee, uh, your knee up, so your step count or, or your cardiovascular system is ticking along, and your resistance training two, three, four times a week, and you know you're doing that, and you know you're accurate with it, let the process take over because sometimes the data looks skew in comparison to what's actually happening internally. I know I'm leaner, like I know I'm leaner. Um, 23 days in is not a small, uh, you know, big amount, a big window to sort of see that, but it's enough that I know I'm leaner. So, my big piece of advice is keep doing the right things, keep doing the right things, and the right results will come. Um, it might be that I'm going to come in a lot heavier this time around. Like I knew I was light last time. I was small. I didn't appreciate how small I, I was. Um, I'm going to be bigger, bigger this time. Um, I've got more muscle mass, definitely. Um, and I'm just a slightly different structure than I was. So it will be interesting. I've just got to remember, put it back in my head. You know you're doing the right things and keep powering on. Um, but yeah, so that's a little piece of advice from me. Uh, I'm off for a wander up at Bluebell Woods again with my sister. And we're going to go take the dogs for a walk. Nice to do on a Saturday. Again, splits that kind of week weekend feel. Um, Travelling a little further afoot, meeting you know family member to do that. Um, but yeah, so I go take the dogs for a walk, come home, might do a little farm shop maybe, pick up a few bits from the locals and uh, and, uh, and that'll be Saturday. So uh, I'll take you with me and I'll speak to you a little later on. You're not really designed for the life of a vlogger, are you? Wait, Just yeah, taking videos yeah. you sign. So do you. Today's vlog I thought I would do a little continuation um, for the next couple of days just on certain topics that I think actually might be more beneficial to you guys at the end of vlogs uh, just to talk about you know in relation to what I'm doing right now and I've been asked a couple of times across the the, the first 23 episodes or, or however many years about you know how I stay motivated and how I stay fired up and and, and how I 
especially in a lockdown period, um, manage to, to, to make myself do what I'm doing right now because it's very, very easy, very easy uh, to you know, lose control when it comes to nutrition. Um, we're bored, the fridge is just there. And when you look outside right now and you just look at the world and you look at the things that are so restricted to you, you think, I'm not having another restriction in my life. I'm just, I'm just not going to bother. What, what, why would I do that to myself? Um, so I get asked all the time, you know, how do I stay on point and how do I continue to do what I'm doing during such a shit time? And the only answer I've got, the only answer I've got right now is that I've got this disgusting determination to prove a point to myself. Not so much prove a point to you guys. I'm not, I'll be honest with you, as much as this is public, um, people judging me for what I'm doing right now means very little to me, like very little to me. Um, but I have to prove to myself. I remember lockdown one and two, and I remember how badly I coped. Like, and I mean like really badly. First lockdown, I went through some some serious stuff with, with business, with work, um, and it was hard, you know, pulling myself out of that that circle was was really tough. So I didn't do anything. And if any, if, if I'm being brutally honest, as a fitness professional, um, I let myself down really big. I just I lost all motivation to go and do home workouts. Uh, I you know I had some equipment in the in the in the garden. I started, but I never you know there was no conviction in it. Um, and then lockdown two in November, uh, we thought it was going to be a short term one, and I was also very angry with the whole tier four system after, you know, some people I know worked so hard to allow gyms to be open in tier three. Um, so I let myself down one and two, long story short. So this time I'm doing this to prove to myself that actually with a plan, with focus uh, and with an end goal in mind that no matter what is in my way, I am capable. And that ability to show that I'm capable is enough to kind of sink my teeth into. It's enough to keep me fired up and ready to go. And I think what I would su suggest and what I would advise people themselves, if they're looking to start this, this sort of fitness regime or they're looking to get into something, find something that means something to you. And that's not the, the cliche of find your why. That's that, you know, as much as that is very, very true, um, find something that means something to you. And if that's your opinion of yourself, if that's somebody else's opinion of you, if that's the ability to, to do something now that you couldn't do you know, six months ago, make that the thing that, that, that grips you. It, make, it makes you almost determined to prove something wrong. Now, I have to prove that I can do this with all the barriers in, in front of me, all the barriers. That is my motivation. My motivation is to make sure that I've got you know, six months of prep completely documented um, and, and I bring in the best shape I possibly can. If your goal is to drop a stone in body weight, drop some body fat, etc. Now, prove to yourself that you are capable of dropping that one that, that one stone or that percentage of body fat. Prove to yourself that, that, that you can do it or prove to somebody who told you you couldn't do it or has seen you fail before. Get an almost fuck you mentality about things. And that for me is, is what's keeping me motivated right now. Um, and I think if people bit into that a little bit more, they would be a lot stronger in what they're doing. The conviction would be a lot higher. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would share that with you at the end of this episode. Find what makes you tick. And what makes you tick sometimes has to be a bit of a warped kind of prove you wrong mentality. And that can, like I said to you, that can be prove you wrong yourself prove you wrong, the people that are watching, or prove your, your ability wrong, your, or your lack of ability in your head wrong. Um, I had a conversation with somebody about a press-up. I can't do press-ups. I can't do press-ups. Well, you might not be able to do them now, but what I want you to do in six months' time is, is reread that statement or reread that text message and go, do you know what? I now can do press-ups, and I could only do press-ups because I got that kind of fuck you mentality and I put the work in behind the scenes. So that's my advice to you for today, guys. What keeps you motivated in this weird period and weird time? Sometimes it can't be as simple as, you know, your why. It can't be as simple as, um, you know, you've got a dress you want to get into in the summer or you want to get into a, to a bikini. Sometimes it has to be a little bit more personal and make this personal to you. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to sign off. Day 23. 
Um, really happy with the progress. You'll notice again, this is a secondary filming for this day. Um, some of my outros, I just feel like we're getting a little bit stale. So what I thought I would do like for the rest of the week is just give you a little insight into something else that's going on in my brain as I'm kind of editing. Um, and anything that might have happened throughout my day. So I'm going to do that for a couple of times, uh, a couple of times over the next few days, and then we'll be back on to, to, to normal stuff. But for now, that is day 23 all signed off. So I'll uh, see you in the morning, guys.